let's move on to the next question. Two more. I think you can be with us. Yeah, this one is from Andre. How can you ensure that B1, B2 visa applicants' intentions are purely for business or tourism and not for the purpose of immigration or overstaying in the USA? The best way to answer that question is the interview process is not perfect when it comes to the United States because it's it's contingent upon a verbal interview. However, when I when you adjudicate 40,000 visas in a specific country, you start to see profiles and you start to understand what to look for when you ask applicants question. And so although it's not perfect, you as a consular officer are trained to basically, you are trained in the law, how to apply the law, and also you're trained based on the experience that you have. So you take in all of the adjudications that came before and you apply that to the applicant in front of you. And that's the best way that the consular officer is able to determine. And that's why adjudication mm -hmm. refusal rates are, are high. Is It's because if the person doesn't do very well at the window, they're more likely to get rejected even though they're genuine because the law is you're guilty until you prove otherwise. So the so the, the way that they try to counter that is they set the bar really high. That's another thing that is going on at the visa adjudication level. So that's the best way I can answer that question. Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering that and taking that up. Are you an IT consultant seeking a new opportunity? We offer job placement services for U.S. citizens, green cards, EADs, and visa holders. We also sponsor various work visas like H-1B, E3, TN, and green cards. 20-plus years of experience in the industry. Exceptional employee benefits. Highly rated by our employees. Global presence with 200-plus recruiters and direct clients. Connect with us. Call us on the number. 833-412-8472 or mail us at support at higheritpeople.com or visit our website www.higheritpeople.com